I'm late with this one, but at the same time I have a feeling it was very early. First of all, seeing that I'm not a very huge YouTuber, I tend to give shout out sometimes, if I feel like it, to people that have given some regards to something. And now I'm giving out that shout out to YouTuber Penny for the Guy, because I'm saying, well predicted man, well predicted indeed. Because you predicted something about uh, what Soma was gonna cook. I think you, it was something like uh, stuffed chicken wings, which is t almost like just what Soma is cooking. The gyoza is like chicken wings, or more like he is filling them up in his gyoza, which excites everything. Onwards to the chapter, though. This chapter showed also many things, uh, other things. I mean, <sighs> I just slurred my words. <clears throat> What I mean is, has Soma just done it? No, no, I'm not talking about charming the judges, no. We all asked ourselves, how in the hell is Soma going to charm these judges? Or more likely, how is he going to overpower Izan? Right now, we don't know. But at the same time, we can almost ask ourselves, did he just say that one word that could have turned this entire Shogeki around? and seal Izan's fate, or his own. I will tell you what I mean in a bit. Onwards now to the chapter. In the chapter, it's revealed that Soma is cooking wingtip gyoza, or more like uh, Satomi Yudori wingtip gyoza, which is when he took out the bones from the chicken wings and unwrapped it into the gyoza mixture, which has a wonderful fragment that even Rindo herself wants, what we, we know she eats. Of course, the judges are not impressed, because apparently, this is something that even a B-class gourmet would like. And we now we get some info on they. Not only are they Izan's business dogs, they're apparently his business partners see, and, and influential in the culinary world and connected to the central. Well, we all know they prove the central, but still. Uh, Soma still believes this is popular with the customers. But the judge say that if he cooks it like that, he's gonna spoil the taste. Or more likely, you completely ruined the Satsuma Yiduru. Something about uh, the fatty pork in the filling is just one of my reasons saying that. I think he's saying something like, uh, let's see, the fattiness that you think you can use the secret ingredient is a way to add juiciness. But that would be a great mistake. You're killing the high quality, delicate aftertaste of the ingredient in a complete misstep. And there's no need for a dish like that. Of course, many of them also say that Rindo herself should eat it, but here, once again, Rindo shows a personality. I'm still not sure. I'm still not sure if she's an ally or an enemy, but it appears she is actually pretty affable. I mean, she says something like, for the moment, I'm working on the principle of trying all dishes before I decide how I feel about them. Well, she is a big eater, but this shows she is open-minded. She is willing to taste anything, and if it's good, it's good. If it's bad, it's bad, but these judges tend to be right, as, he, as Rindo says. So Isan passes through Soma's stove and shut his off, saying he has already lost and serves his food. Uh, Delicacy, uh, well not before he shoves Soma of course. It's high fun ji fun, which is also what you guessed. Uh, a very high quality of that. And he serves it to Soma too. And with just one of them eating it, well, all the guys strip. Okay. I know for a fact I needed brain bleach for the fact that Izan is such a jackass, but uh, that was uncalled for. Now I'm having brain bleach to see men strip. Ugh. But the it's clear though that it's beyond the delicious. It's and uh, with the free sauces he Izan has prepared too, he adds even more depth to it. In a way, he is living up to his alchemista title, because he's forging something completely new. I guess a golden chick. From the chicken he's doing that. But here's the thing. Rindo eats. She has an orgasm or a foodgasm. But the way I'm saying orgasm is we don't see her strip. But the way she postures herself. You can almost wonder if did she just, has an or did she just have an orgasm. <laughs> but we know that's more like foodgasm. But here's the thing. She, her clothes are not stripped off. I mean in the fantasy. Meaning it's delicious. But it's not enough to make... Uh, the the second seat submit, although she, she could very well be picky. But the thing is here, 
We haven't seen Rindu cook, but there have been two hints on just how awesome she is. What are the two hints? The first, when she ate at the Kuga's place. Why is that amazing? Think about it. All customers who have eaten his food has blown out fire. And even though Soma didn't blow out fire, he sweated. But Rindu ate it like it was ice cream. The second hint, she just had to look at Izan's ingredients and she immediately knew what he's gonna cook. And now to the fact that she is not being stripped could very well mean it's powerful, but it's not powerful enough to make her submit. As the judges say, this is over because uh, there's no uh, cook like Soma allowed in the uh, cooking place. Soma still says that his cooking is still remaining, but Izan saying that they should just quit, the sugar key is over. And here it is. Soma says the one line that may very well turn this battle around for him. And why am I saying that? Because I'm saying, because in a way, if you think about it, Izan was ready now to pack up and tell the judges it's over. But Soma manipulated him in a little bit, or he was trolling. He said the one line that could very well have put Izan's in his place. Well, not in his place. In the way he's saying, okay, now I'm pissed. Well, we know he's getting pissed. What he's saying is, does my cooking scare you, senpai, when he refuses to eat them? And when he tells that, the face he shows is the ugliest face he has shown yet. And that's saying something from Izan. I mean, Izan is ugly on the outside as he is on the inside. And now, that face he's showing, it's so ugly you could almost be poetic and say, the perfect way to describe someone's evil is when they are just as rotten on the outside as in the inside. I guess that's one way of putting it. Maybe. But, uh, yeah. The one, that one line could very well have forced Izan to eat uh, Soma's cooking after all. And maybe the judges. And doing that can turn this battle around. Granted, it's only a fanfare of mine. Not confirmed yet. So he begins to cook it, with Izan, of course, blowing up the steam. But the chapter ends there, I'm afraid. So what is the Soma's secret weapon? It seems to be some spices. But uh, next week we will see the Gyoza's final form. Will we have uh, results of the sugar key next week? I don't think so. Two more chapters. I won't lie, I hope we can be wrapped up now, because I so want Izan to lose. Every single chapter he has been in like now, he has been an incomplete asshole, and his defeat should be insimilating. In a way, I have to criticize the judges too. I'm not a cook. I will never be a cook. But at the same time, I will criticize these culinary people. They're criticizing the quality of food. Soma has proven dozens of times that you don't have to be, have high quality in order to get food to taste good. And the way Soma does this may ruin the savoriness, but at the same time it is an experimentation. An experimentation of granting something even deeper, but they don't believe it. In a way they are false culinary experts. And culinary experts should be open-minded in my book to everything. But granted, however, of course, a gastronomy has to taste good. So I'm not a food critic, but if you agree with me, do give me your thoughts, if you have any. What is Soma's secret weapon? Will we see the verdict next week? And and also, another, uh, just a side note. Are we going to get a sympathetic flashback from Izan? Because, well, the authors tend to sympathize their characters when they're assholes. Or not. I hope not. I want Izan to be humiliated. Okay. Give me your thoughts if you have any.